know what really winds me up? Okay, I know. Most things. I'll be more specific. Do you know what really winds me up today? When web designers do one and leave their clients high and dry. You're not sure what I mean? Let me explain. You pay someone to build your website. Whether it's any good or not is neither here nor there. You paid for it, it's yours. But where is it? Do you actually know? Your web designer hosts your website for you, only they don't. They use someone else and they may or may not be in this country. If your web designer decides I'm going to go on holiday or I'm going to get a proper job or I'm going to be really ill for several months. Okay, they don't actually decide that one, but you get my point. The result is the same. You're unable to get hold of them. They don't pick up their phone. They don't answer their email. You don't know where they are because they don't have an office. They work from home. That's why they were so cheap in the first place. Hey, you chose this person to build your website. What did you expect? So what happens when they don't pay their hosting bill. Your website goes down. Do you know what you can do about it? Absolutely nothing. But we can. Over the years, we've recovered websites that were lost because the hosting company accidentally deleted thousands of websites and didn't have any backups. The website was deleted by the son's ex-girlfriend who had designed the website but wasn't happy they'd split up. The web designer went off to get a proper job and didn't renew his web hosting, taking down the websites for all of his former clients. Ask yourself this, where is your website hosted and who actually hosts it? Is your website backed up and do you have access to the backups? Do you have the login details for your own domain name? Who even owns your domain name? Is it you? Are you sure? What happens if your web designer does a Kaiser Sose and vanishes? You can speak to me before or after that happens, but it's much easier before.